And our team coverage continues tonight. School administrators are closely watching the forecast. Many districts will decide early tomorrow morning on closings or delays. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Jennifer Lee stopped by Bloomfield Public Schools today. Obviously, Jen, this uh, timing is not really working in their favor here. No, it really isn't, Mark. The superintendent of Bloomfield Schools says the snow is starting tomorrow morning right around the time their school buses start hitting the roads. Children going home on school buses this afternoon could get a snow day or delay. A staff member at Bloomfield School says that's all right. On the other hand, you know, I don't mind a long weekend because Monday we have off for Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday, so it would be a long extended weekend. Superintendent James Thompson Jr. says he checks in with Public Works on road conditions, keeps a regular check of the forecast, and consults with neighboring superintendents on potential delays or snow days. For Friday's storm, timing isn't on their side. Um, so that is a concern because that's when our buses are on the road, and uh, so it could pose a potential problem, and uh, it may influence our decision. Right now, high schoolers are taking midterms across several districts. A snow day tomorrow would mean a makeup day is in order. Superintendent Thompson says a delay, though, wouldn't impact the exam schedule. The ensuring the safety of our students and staff that really guides our decision. As for the big storm hitting our region this weekend, Monday is a holiday and gives school districts an extra day to prepare for students and staff to return after a snowy weekend. The fact that I get to hunker down at home and, you know, have my chicken soup and just be lazy for a day. But of course, I don't like cleaning the snow and all that good stuff. Meriden and Windsor Public Schools reached out to Eyewitness News and tells us they will be taking similar steps tomorrow morning to determine a delay or closing in their district. Uh, we also want to remind you that we do have a closings tab on our Channel 3 app. Make sure you download our app and check it out before tomorrow's storm. Reporting live in Bloomfield, Jennifer Lee, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.